Now, security is a top priority after the attempted assassination 11 days ago. Daniel Pierce is at the rally where things are about to begin. Yeah, they are very anxious to see what the former president will say whenever it comes to attacking his presumptive challenger and Vice President Harris. But even regardless of who is going to be on the ticket on the Democratic side, they believe in the idea that President Donald Trump, the former president, will be able to beat them with these. And that idea is why you saw people outside Bojangles Coliseum as early as 8 o'clock this morning braving the heat, braving that sun, some even getting heat-related illnesses because they want to support their guy. Now, we're hearing a lot of people reference the assassination attempt, saying that they expect to hear a message about unity from the president, even saying that what happened then is a show that he is strong enough to lead the country. Or shift the focus to capitalize on that independence base, something that is considered to be a little bit more open considering the shift this past week. And now I asked his voters about specific policies they want the former president to speak on. The biggest thing, of course, on their mind, the talking points of immigration and trying to bring down the cost of groceries. Cost of living. I, I have a, um, I'm in the food business, so it's affected me cost wise. And then I have to raise the prices to my customers, which I hate doing. But, and I try to keep it at a minimum because we're in a rural area. And so I try to keep it affordable for them. We're expecting to hear from the president at around six o'clock. His comments at his rallies have been going about an hour and a half. We do not know, though, if the fact that President Biden will be speaking later on this evening will have an impact on what Trump speaks about right now or how long he will speak. In the Bojangles Coliseum, Daniel Pierce. In this